Foster is out here. Oh, thank goodness. Rusty stopped it. Oh, down yeah, goes TR. Yeah. That a boy, Rusty. Yes. I had the villain the Trinity would show their true colors in this match. They're always going to show their colors in this match. Oh, yeah. Seems like one can't do it without the other three. Or two, excuse me. Oh! The referee's being distracted. Oh, only a two count. Oh, oh he, had on, it. he had it. He had it. Out of position and everything else. Now they. Both Diesel and Shanks. Basically, distracting the referee. I'm surprised the referee hasn't thrown everybody out yet. Yeah, I know. Typically, when stuff gets out of hand like that, you don't want to throw everybody out. Oh! Oh, my. Good. First neck breaker. That could be it. Oh, no. Three counts. There it is. There's your winner, Ty Tyson. some of this. I'm getting ready to head out to the woods here. I'm in a hurry to do a little bit of hunting. Got me a hat, some gloves, a little safety vest. I didn't know y'all sold this stuff here. Yes, sir. We sold a little bit of everything. <laughs> that is awesome. Yes, I'll be right back. Right. Need a little pick-me-up. Get ready to go. For all your convenience needs, stop by Zip Foods in Mount Airy, North Carolina, located at 1316 Carter Street, Mount Airy Plaza. When you're ready to strike hard, strike fast, Zip Foods is the place to be. Now at this time, it is my great privilege to introduce a man who is my childhood idol. I remember watching this man on TV every Saturday morning. I even dyed my hair, cut my shirt, and put on a bandana. He has won over 300 championships. He has graced AIWF Hall of Fame. He is the one half of the best tag team to ever get inside the square circle. Put your hands together for the man, the myth, the legend, Ricky Morton!
we couldn't wrestle here tonight, okay? So give it up for yourself. That's what I really want. I see, I see uh, a lot of you still remember, but I'm looking around some of these kids and they're looking, that's that man from the olden days. <laughs> he even got a mullet. <laughs> wow, great fan. But you know, uh, you fans, Hey, Robert and I, eight-time World Tag Team Champions. Many times, a lot of people don't know, but even you fans, you made myself uh, NWA World Heavyweight Champion. I mean, there's a lot of people don't know about that. That's the politics of professional wrestling. <laughs> But I just want to say again, that what a great compliment it is. Uh, and you give it up to all the guys that come out here for wrestling. Because if you, you can't get a chance, check me out on Facebook, School of Morton. I have a, uh, a wrestling school, but it's not all about that. I understand these kids that come out here and wrestle, they put a lot of hard work into this. Uh, about learning, uh, you know, and uh, you younger kids, about education, you know what? You see a lot of things that happen in the world today, but it's all because it's a lack of education. I'm not the smartest guy in the world, but you know, young kids, stay in school, do your thing, man. Make something out of yourself. Hello? That's my buddy right here. Here's my real buddy right here. Y'all check him out, give him a hand. Ah, that's my brother. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I want to tell y'all thank you so much again for coming out and uh, we didn't make a liquor bill, I guess. <laughs> Oh, 
I just, but maybe right now, I'm just having a hard time making a decision. Can y'all help me out? Do a move forward. Yes, I don't know which foot to stick up your behind. All right? Y'all what? Both of them. Both of them. Uh, anything else you want to say? I tell you what. I tell you, since you want to wrestle me tonight, hey, you know what? I'll go get my stuff right out of the truck, and I'll come in here, and I'm gonna stand. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tap dance all over your face. Tap dance all over your face. That's right, all over your face. And I don't care about any of these hillbilly morons and what they think about. I don't care if you like me. I love myself. I don't need you. I don't need you. But you. You, my friend, I do need, I need you to put your tights on, show up in this ring, and I'm gonna drop you. I'm gonna drop you once and for all. Y'all know y'all heard this before. I'm gonna make you famous. What y'all think? He lost the 
popular vote. Fair and square. Donald Trump, you are not my president. I'll show you who my president is. Thunderdome tonight. My name's Randy. My broadcast partner tonight is Bob. We'll get ready to sit for the uh, title for the heavyweight championship here between the uh, Liberal and the Rusty Shank. Bob, I tell you what, uh, I thought we was done with the election back in November, but uh, this is the second supporter I've seen for Hillary tonight. Man. Yeah, I mean, you figure he would know the election's over and she lost. I mean, it's time to move on. Where was all his support was back in November she needed, you know? Yeah, well, his part of the country may have uh, voted for him, but I don't think mine did. I don't think Rusty cares who won the election. What do you think? I don't either. I'm just glad he's had on good behavior tonight. Yeah, he didn't have an escort tonight. He must be doing a lot, lot better. Yeah, he must have served his time. Let's just hope 2017 is a year that he uh, continues good behavior because I'd hate to see him in jail again because he's been a good champion so far. And we definitely don't want him to lose that belt. He's, he's doing a good job. Okay, the bell's rung. And, you know, the liberal the rest in the corner, you, you wouldn't expect a uh, clean break from the liberal. Or progressive liberal, I'm sorry. Yeah, I got to agree with you right there. The one thing about Rusty, he's not a quitter. 
Got a new referee that I'm not familiar with either. Bob, looks like he's doing a pretty good job. Yeah, he's kind of new to the show. Oh. Uh, drop kick, good drop kick for us to shame. You tell who the crowd favorite is. Oh, yeah. Well, people are definitely loving it. Rusty. Listen out of chant, Rusty, Rusty. Everybody deserves a second chance in life, and this crowd's giving him one. <laughs> there you go. He played, he's done his time. Something different tonight, too. Instead of uh, ticker tape and streamers, uh, there was toilet paper thrown in the ring. That's a new twist on the match. I guess they think the liberal needs something to cry on. <laughs> <laughs> Might come in, Andy. Good answer. Good answer. Let's see if Rusty lets him. I don't think he wants back in the ring very, very quick. No, he's already got some big whips on his back already. Okay, he ref made it to an eight count. Let's see what he's got for us now. I see Rusty playing a little mind games with him right now. A wrist lock over the top. Depends on how much pressure you don't look really real impressive, but uh, a lot of pressure on that arm. Good comeback by the liberal. Oh, he misses the elbow. Rusty just one step ahead of him. Back to the arm. Come on, now come on, get off. Come on, throw. One. Oh. Modified uh, Lucha Libre move there or something. I don't know if you're familiar with what that Hip toss. It's kind of like a Hummel Carrada without the ropes. Exactly. He's got that uh, head like it's pretty tight. Uh, 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 liberal. Oh, going for the eyes. That's one thing about wearing a mask. It just gives the other person a, uh, something to grab a hold of a lot of times. Kind of like an extra crutch. Yeah. He's doing the right thing, though, trying to put the circulation off to the head and make him a little woozy. I'm surprised he didn't stick with that arm, you know, like the Anderson just do. Take one body part and work on it and keep working on it. He might go back to, uh-oh. Oh. oh. That's a pretty slick move. Rusty outside the ring on the hard concrete floor here at the Thunderdome. There he goes after Rusty also. There's the boss checking on him. Uh-oh, he's got the Hillary shirt. He's going to use it. Choking him, choking him with a Hillary shirt. Well, at least she's doing some kind of work. <laughs> oh, oh, into the barrier. Looks like he got on the fans, too. Bob's trying to get everything in order. Right? I can't really see. He's got a five count to break it. He's uh, stretching that every time. Yeah, I'm sure the ring crew will be happy about that right there. Russ is back in the ring. Yeah, get a little close there. Bottom rope choke right there with the uh, extended neck under the rope. One, two, three, four, Looks more like the uh, progressive liberals doing everything with wrestling. Bird camel clutch on the ropes. That's got to put a lot of pressure. Oh, oh, look at this one. Full Nelson on the ropes. Never seen that before. I mean, he's within the rules. Bob, Bob's counting, you know. He breaks it four every time. Back body drop. Oh, that was close. Yeah, two count. One thing, one thing about Rusty Shank, you almost have to just completely knock him out before he's going to quit. Oh, he'll he'll never quit. Yeah, there's, just, there's no quit in there. Especially with the fans behind him the way they are. Another, another, another back drop. I 
think he probably needs to cover us just to still celebrate. It. So I might come back to uh, regret that here in a minute. Suplex. Cover. You know, the liberal's just a little bit uh, cocky there. He's not hooking the leg. I think he thinks he's got this match won. Yeah, I guess he thinks the more pressure he puts on Rusty's back, the, easy, the less is going to be him getting up. <clears throat> yeah, there's those two big body back body drops. Plus what he's got him in now with the modified crucifix. That's what I thought. Uh, back can take so much. Yeah, the crowd's really getting into it now. Now Rusty back on his feet. Oh, uh, backslide, going to backslide. Ooh, only a two can. Duck out of it. Sledgehammer. He's opening those fists up for uh, referee Bob gets it. Nice wow. drop kick from the liberal. I think Rusty felt that one. Uh, this time he had the leg, but Rusty of course kicks out. Very close. That's, that's a long two. No. No. Yeah, definitely the mask will come into play sometimes. Easily to be choked with it. He's got him in a modified headlock right now. Can't really see what he's, how he's got it locked on. But looks like it's in pretty tight. Plus, he's got his body turned at a 90 degree angle, which puts more pressure on that neck. The ref might be checking for a sleeper. That's what it is. Hand, hand goes down one more time. We got a new champion. This is it. Nope. There we go. Yeah, he's ready. Him and the fans bring him back up. Knee to the stomach. Another suplex. Oh, oh, he missed. Yeah, must have kind of pulled out of that one. Big clothesline, running clothesline. Another running clothesline. We know where the momentum's going now. Well, I thought he was going to run over there. Oh. Oh, modified. Face buster. Mm. Only two can. Only two can. Unfortunately, Rusty didn't grab the leg there either. But Rusty's, uh, I think he's still feeling the effects of his shots there. He's uh, not, not making his, his pins the way he should, I don't think, but he's, he's coming back. Oh, yeah. Elbows from the jaw, two elbows from the jaw. Reversal. Oh, oh, there we go. Spine buster. Oh. Rusty's finisher. Huh? Hey, what? What's going on? Hey. That was a three count. Riffs, what's, what's Riff Bob doing? He's grabbing his shoulder. Is it a heart attack? Come on, dude. Oh, yeah, I knowed it. I knowed it, Bob. Uh-huh. I knowed it. He yeah. He's being paid off. Oh, yeah. I knew there was a skunk in the building, and now I know there's two of them. Ty Tyson and TR Superstar. And where there's two, there's a third one there's lurking third around one. somewhere. Exactly. And you know who that is. Oh, yeah. Belly to belly. Yeah, and we all know Diesel's the ringleader of it all. I still don't understand what's going on with the referee Bob. Uh oh, here comes Kevin Phoenix. Oh, no, here he is. Save the day. They don't want none of that. Rusty should keep the belt. Yep. By disqualification. Oh, oh, what, oh, no. What's going on? Come on. That is a swerve from nowhere. Oh. Now, guess who's on the payroll? Oh. I thought these two were friends. Oh, my goodness. 
FTR is just as surprised as anybody else. Man. What is going on with Kevin Phoenix? He runs the place. I'm, I'm confused. I think everybody's on the payroll. Makes you wonder if his loss earlier wouldn't have swerved also. I'm confused. Where's Diesel? I still smell stunt. charge anymore. No wonder he's upset. Kevin yeah, Rusty didn't lay a hand on nobody when he came out. Phoenix is claiming interference or something. I, I think he's lost his mind. You took something from me. So better than Uh-oh. I'm taking something from you. Tyson and PR Superstar just tickled to death. Look at him. Like a bunch of kids. Yeah, like a Christmas present. Just give to him. Uh oh. Oh, the gauntlet's been laid down. Phoenix said he wanted it on the 18th back here, but I don't think Russell's going to settle. Ty Dyson's getting a front row seat for this one. They might not like what they see. Because Rusty is upset. Now look what Phoenix does. He don't want none of Rusty. He run like a scalded dog. He don't want it tonight. He don't want it next month. He don't ever want it. I don't blame him after a swerve like that. He associates himself with people like that. There's nothing but bad news. PR Superstar is acting it on, too. I guess it's sanctioned for the belt. Ah, uh, and, and again, what yeah. does he do? He don't want it. He wants a microphone, Tony. I think you have a lot in common with these people. If you're illiterate and you don't understand what's coming out of my mouth. Yes, I'll see you February 18th here in the Thunderdome. Bob, mark your calendar, February 18th, rematch for the heavyweight championship. It's going to be an intense battle also. Brian Vickers, Aaron's sponsored driver. He doesn't just love racing, he lives it. We got the paper! Woo! His pit crew follows him everywhere. Oddly, so does his boss. Right, right, find that, find that. Yeah. And his passion for racing is rivaled only by his passion for errands. No credit needed. I'll take it. Woo! Woo! Congrats. Errands makes owning easy through lease ownership, so you can own the life you want. Visit us today, 2123 Rockford Street, Suite 250, in the Forest Oaks Shopping Center, Mount Airy, North Carolina, 27030. Or give us a call, 336-783-0600.
Mr. Electricity, Mr. Charisma, Mr. Showtime, former five-time AIWF World Heavyweight Champion. You ain't got another man in a building that can claim that. Now I'm getting ready to bust Ricky Morton's head open and send him back to Tennessee. And I don't care whether you like it or not, because I'm Jimmy Love, and I do love woman. Right now, we got one of the living legends of this sport, Ricky Morton, one half of the Rock and Roll Express, former NWA World Tag Team Champions, and somebody who should be in the WWE Hall of Fame, going against somebody who, who's a veteran himself, Mr. Jimmy Love. He's a little cocky, but he is a tough competitor, and like he said, he's former AIWF World Heavyweight Champion. So this should be a definitely interesting match. Yeah, the way all this got started tonight, Ricky is our special guest host and came out earlier and was introducing, thanking the veterans and thanking everybody for coming out and having a good New Year's and talking about his wrestling school, School of Morton. And Jimmy Love comes out and gets on the microphone and just talks pure trash about him. Tells him an old man how he's going to beat him to death. And, um, you know, Ricky was just here to, to enjoy the crowd and sell some pictures and some T-shirts. and Now look what it's into. Well, Jimmy Love got what he wanted. He wanted him a Christmas present to get in the ring with one of the legends. He got it. Because Rick, Ricky's been in there with the likes of Ric Flair and some of those guys. I know he's not afraid of Jimmy Love. And as Jimmy says, you don't have to love him because he loves himself. The thing about Jimmy Love, though, he's like a bulldog. He's ready to attack at any time, though. hardware and no line for this one is just a straight out grudge match. Jimmy called him out. Ricky said, hey, you know, I'll go and get the stuff out of the truck. We'll do it tonight. We'll do it right now. But they waited for the main event. So. in the unique styles here. Jimmy Love's more of a ground. Ricky's always known to be kind of a more of a mid-aerial. Of course, with him and Robert Gibson being eight-time world tag team champions, he's he knows his way around the ring, so Jimmy Love had better not take him too lightly. He might be old, but I don't think I want any of them. No, nah, he's definitely a, he definitely knows his way around the ring. What I hear is School of Morton's doing real well. He's producing some young stars from the future, and maybe someday he'll bring some of them back here to Thunderdome where we can uh, see what the products are. We've got Chase Owens, uh, one of his prodigies down there. 
He's been over to Japan. He's uh, part of a Bullet Club. That's a success story. He's got Elliot Marie, who's uh, one of the tag team, works the tag team. He's had a lot of success. Uh, I think they uh, gather down there on Sundays. Anytime you want to go visit, I'm sure Ricky would be glad to have you. Oh. Jimmy playing a little uh, chess music there on the dancing biceps. Women may like it, but I'm definitely not impressed. Yeah, I'm going to turn my head. I think he needs to start wrestling and quit showing off. I think after he made the, uh, the challenge, he uh, kind of rethought it, but Ricky wouldn't let him out of it. So he's probably just trying to stall as long as he can. Okay, got him in the corner. Let's see if Jimmy will do a clean break. He didn't want to, but one, two, three, Reggie you made him do it. Yeah, I've had the privilege of knowing Ricky Morton for a few years and uh, back in the days, and uh, he's never backed down from a challenge, no matter who it is. Oh, here's the, uh, not the fingers. Got the hair, Jim. Got the hair. Oh. Oh, I heard them fingers crack. Mm -hmm. Oh, Jimmy Love is going to hate that. Looks like it's the middle finger he broke. Jimmy's got it stuck up over there. Oh. He's wanting to bring the new year in right with the bang. Yeah. There's a crowd with the rock and roll chance. We'll hear that tonight. Jimmy broke the count, but he's back out. One of you realizes there are still kids here. That's inappropriate. Exactly. Okay, he's back in the ring. Let's see what we get going now. He's one of the fights that are wrestling. Karate. <laughs> Ricky's packing. Jimmy's still shaking that hand, the effects of it. Headlock. Ricky against the ropes. Oh, shoulder tackle. Oh, he's going into the flare strut here. Only one person could do that one. Oh, yeah. His age, I'd say Flair would get up there with love too if he started that. Exactly. Crowd's behind him. Ricky's getting up. Jimmy Love gonna flex a little bit. Of course, you get too cocky like that. Sometimes it backfires. People looking around wondering who else is on the payroll tonight. You never know what's going to go on after all the matches we've seen tonight. Swerves and tricks and backstabbing. And they don't call it season beatings for nothing. Jimmy needs to open that fist up. Big shoulder tackle. Big one. He Frankenstein him. He can't even get out of the rope. He's so stiff. Got I think he's trying to use a cameraman as a block. Okay, Jimmy makes it back in before the 10 pin. You know, no matter where Ricky goes, it can't get old to hear that chant no. over the years. No, I like hearing it. Yeah, me too. I know he had a brief time where he kind of got off track a little bit, but he come to his senses real quick, and I'm glad he did for his sake. Yeah, I'm going with Ricky. Ricky's 
top shelf. Yes, he is. And his partner, Robert Gibson, is just the same way. Watch out now. Watch out, referee. Uh, <laughs> Jimmy in the headlock there. Oh, right on the end of the beat. Ooh. Referee Reggie couldn't see that, but I know that Jimmy Love fell. The thing about it, he knows how to work the crowd. Yes, he does. Rock and roll, the more furious Jimmy Love gets. You don't like it, that's for sure. He told the crowd he's going to bust him wide open. He's trying to. I don't think there's going to be much of a wrestling match going on here. It's more of a fight. More like a grudge match. Yeah, exactly. Ricky could still be over the table selling his shirts and pictures and stuff, but Jimmy had to call him out. I'm really surprised he had his gear with him. I guess we were lucky. Of course, they say about wrestlers, they always carry the gear no matter where they're at. So. Yeah, you never know when you're going to be called to spur of the moment. Final bear hook. I think he's got it locked in really good. Ricky's bending down there, let him lock it in. There. Now Ricky modifies it into a uh, headlock. Jimmy's got it in the corner, so he'll get a clean break. Oh, shoulder block. Ooh. Ricky's boot to the face. Jimmy eats that one. Oh, knee lift. Big knee lift. That better in presence for you. That's a big old knee lift. Ooh, foot on the rope. That could have been it right there. Almost a three count. Jimmy had the presence of mind to drape his foot over that bottom rope. Right to the eyes. He's doing anything he can to get through this match. Every time he gets momentum, the crowd does the rock and roll and kind of breaks his concentration. Big body slam by Jimmy Love. He has him in the center of the ring. Not the best place to have somebody. Seems like he's taking too long to do anything, though. He's giving Ricky Cash kiss his breath. Fire strut again. I don't know if that's going to go over well. I know that Ricky, he telegraphed it. Ricky was waiting on him to move. I don't think he cares about a closed fist. That's, that's knuckle straight to the noggin right there. Yep. Uh-oh. Oh! One, two, three, he's down. Reggie's out. Oh. He's all right. He, oh, Reggie's good. Oh, Jimmy's got a chair. Maybe Reggie ain't okay. He needs to turn around and look. He needs to turn around. Jimmy's jamming in the corner. See what it does. He's going to throw Ricky into the chair. Another shoulder block to the midsection. Uh-oh. Backfire. Oh, yeah. Backfire. There you go. You play a fire, you're going to get burnt. He got the crowd going again. Looks like Reggie might be trying to come to. He's got cobwebs over. I don't know what 
Got to get another ref out here. Jimmy's going to get him up. Jimmy's digging for something. Oh, for an object. Oh, for an object right across the forehead. Reggie didn't see it. Let's see what we got here. Got a pin? Nope. Reggie's still, Reggie's still in the corner. He's not, he's not doing real good. Jimmy didn't get the pin. Uh oh, hey, what we got this? coming here? Seeing Crawley? Where did he come from? He ain't got nothing to do with this. I've never seen this guy before. Oh, Seeing Crawley is. Oh. Big spear. Oh! Big spear. Wow. Reggie's out. Jimmy Love's out. Two. Three. Oh! And your winner, one half of the Rock and Roll Express, Ricky Morton.